Hey, hey, happy spring, I guess, although it's snowing in Minnesota. Um, I was responding in an email and figured I would just record a quick video to answer one of the questions I get asked a lot, which is, when do I write? Um, and the simple answer is kind of whenever I can fit it in. Um, a lot of times that is on the weekends. Um, I, for whatever reason, wake up early and sleep less than the rest of my family. And so a lot of times I have time um, on Saturdays, Sundays, um, that kind of stuff to write. So a lot of my writing happens in the weekends, but I also squeeze stuff in during the week. Um, sometimes on lunch break, sometimes after work, sometimes before work. It just, just kind of depends on what's available. Um, and I always have ideas kind of rattling around in my head. So there's always something in the pot to go. Um, what am I working on now was the other question. And um, right now I'm kind of in a holding pattern on a couple of projects. And so I am at kind of a reverse engineering a screenplay I wrote um, called The Love Formula, um, kind of classic rom-com idea. And I didn't have any success finding some place to make it as a movie. Uh, so I've decided to turn it into a novel. And you know, movies are, they do um, novelizations of movies. Um, I always remember enjoying like the Ghostbusters and Indiana Jones ones. Um, so I guess this is novelization before the movie happens. Um, anyway, it, it um, has little bits of history and kind of a chatty narrator. Um, and I wrote this piece about the Diag that I thought I would share. So uh, I'll read it um, for the first time out loud, probably. Um, so this is just, what's a Diag? Um, not a Diag, but rather the Diag. Okay, so what's the diag? I don't know if other cities have diags, but in this particular case, the diag is a chunk of green space in the heart of Ann Arbor. It's called a diag because several sidewalks crisscross the space diagonally. Clever, huh? But it's really more than that. So bear with me for a short history lesson. I promise to make it interesting. First of all, while the University of Michigan is associated with Ann Arbor, it actually originated in Detroit. What? I know. You've been lied to all these years. The university began life as the Cathol... Catholpistamiad. Sorry, um, stumbling over that. In 1817, that's a full 20 years before Michigan even became a state. A few years later, people were making fun of the Academy of Universal Learning because of its goofy name, I assume, and the board decided to rename it the University of Michigan in 1821. Sorry, Judge Augustus Woodward. Who's that? Oh, he's the guy who came up with the name Cathol Pistamiad, and he's an interesting guy in his own right. Several people describe him as the prototype for Ichabod Crane in The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. You know, skinny, tall, gangly, stoop-nosed, or stooped, big-nosed, bachelor, loner who slept in his office. Um, all of these things Woodward did. And because he was buds with Thomas Jefferson, he was appointed the first justice of this new territory called Michigan. Woodward, after whom there is a major road in Detroit named, helped rebuild the city. Despite his slovenly reputation, he embraced the Underground Railroad, was instrumental in ensuring that fugitive slaves were allowed to remain free in the new territory and not return to the South. Um, he had to flee Michigan during the War of 1812, but was able to return in 1813 to help rebuild after the British, after the evacuation of the British. Anyway, his buddy Jefferson and him collaborated ideas, and both the Cathol Pistamiad and University of Virginia share those basic foundational themes. Oh, and he was a Freemason. Anyway, in 1821, it was officially named the University of Michigan. In 1837, the state of Michigan, because it was indeed a state now, decided to move the university to this fledgling town called Ann Arbor. The idea was Detroit was big enough on its own merits, but Ann Arbor needed a boost. Moving the university there would help bring people to this part of the state, and businesses would be established, and boom, and all of that. You have to remember, these days Ann Arbor is a short car ride from Detroit, but back in the day, 45 miles, give or take, was a day's journey. The state set aside 40 acres for the university. This is what's now called Central Campus. The university has blossomed and grown out from there, but this is its core. This is the heart. And the heart of heart is the square plot of green space, originally called Diagonal Green, but now simply abbreviated The Diag. The Diag is bordered by State Street, North University, South University, and Church Street, though 
East University used to be the eastern border before it was truncated at South University and converted from road to sidewalk, essentially extended the diag another 336 feet to Church Street. This is the space where students gather to protest. This is where hash bash is held. This is where students lounge between classes and play frisbee or hacky sack, or read a book in the shade of a tree, or wander the art museum, or where you might hear a group of students playing Led Zeppelin covers on homemade instruments asking for tuna fish instead of tips. It's the sacred space on campus. The libraries are here where you can get lost playing hide-and-seek in the stacks, though the librarians discourage that. When JFK Jr. visited the campus, his speech was given at the Michigan Union, which is technically not part of the Diag, but students spilled over across State Street into the Diag proper in hopes of catching a glimpse of him. The center of the Diag features a brass block M. Legends abound about what the M about the M and what happens if you step on it. So much so that even non-believers go out of their way to avoid the M just in case. Thus concludes the history of the Diag. Consider yourself better informed. Um, I don't know if it'll end up being all together like that, um, but a lot of times I'll write these little history pieces and um, chop them up or never use them. Um, but I kind of get a kick out of pulling together a lot of um, different source material and and doing that as well. So anyway, hope you have a great day. Bye.